ISIS, of course, attacks anybody, any Muslim that doesn't agree with them. They also target Christians and Yazidis. The Yazidi people are just a tribal people. They pretty much stay to themselves. ISIS captured hundreds of people, killed hundreds of men, and many women were taken. ISIS, they took so many young girls. From the ages of four years old, hundreds of girls were raped. Not once, not twice. With different men, they would purchase, sell, purchase, sell. Even animals don't do this to each other. And now we also uh, help reach youth and kids who've been sex trafficked uh, here in the U.S. and around the world. 550 of these women are now back. They needed people to come in and counsel the victims. The government of Kurdistan it was needing help and wondering if we could put together a quick response team to uh, help find and reach uh, the girls that were formerly held captive. of the people that I represent them at the parliament, they think that Americans, U.S. can only make wars. Mm -hmm. They can destroy the whole city to the dust overnight. They can topple down a huge dictator like Saddam. Hussein. But actually they don't know that you can also make peace. Mm -hmm. People like you can come for the post-war eras to make peace and bring peace and help people. We really need that from the U.S. We know that we were going to meet the girls that were actually captured by ISIS. But realized it would be extremely high risk in the area as we would have to be too close proximity of ISIS in northern Iraq. My main objective coming here and sharing with these women here that have been captured by ISIS and have escaped has been to encourage them and to basically lift them up. They're so down, they've been so trampled on. It took a while for them to trust us till they finally felt that they could talk to us. Imagine the terror that they're trying to push down and not relive. ولاني يعني ما أحس بشي وقت اللي أقول بس أريد أقول كل شيء اللي شفته من داعش اللي سيء على مود كل الناس يعرفوهم شلون هم. She said I want the world to know and I also want to talk about the abuse and what happened to me because if I do the world will really know how evil Daesh is. أخذوا البنات ثلاثة وعشرين واحدة من عشيرة. بني داعش بالليل أخذونا إحنا العشرين من البيت وبالساعة واحدة بالليل بنفس اليوم جاء خمسة عشر رجال وكل واحد أخذه. We left Mosul at 1 a.m. We got there in the middle of the night. There were the 15 men of Daesh. They came in that night and they raped each one of us. طلعوها مع الأولاد الصغار والرشوا البنزين عليهم كانوا رح يحرقوهم. What I wanted to do mostly is just hug them and just tell them I love them and I'm so sorry this happened to you. Any girl above five years old was eligible for rape. So they took girls above the age of five and they raped her. In fact, I saw a very little girl get raped in front of my eyes. I'm a father of many children and grandchildren and it just touched my heart that these girls were being uh, kidnapped, taken from their parents, uh, raped multiple times and uh, sold to slave traders, then used and thrown away and sold again. After she was taken in her group of 20, she was then put in a group of 300. And it's a great responsibility to hear their heart and really find out what's going on, what a lot of the media isn't telling. And I will tell as many people as I can, um, people who have means to do something, to send money, to send professional help, to be part of something bigger. Whether they're Muslim or Christian or Yazidis, 
help them. You can help by prayer, you can help by talking to your government representative, you can help by sending funds, you can help by coming here yourself. We need to stand together because this is not a war for Iraq alone. We all have our own political views and thoughts and ideas, but this is way beyond that. It's love and it's humanity.